Installing a set of chromoly front axle shafts, much like the kind that Alloy USA makes, is a good investment to help prevent a break on the trail and is easy to do using a basic set of tools. To begin, lift the front end of your Jeep until your tires are off the ground. Using a 19mm socket, remove the lug nuts on your wheel and then remove the wheel and set it aside. If you're running wheel spacers or wheel adapters like we are, they will need to be removed as well. Disconnect your speed sensor wire from the two retaining clips on the steering knuckle, and then reach up behind the frame rail of your Jeep and unplug it from the main harness. Using a 21mm socket and a breaker bar, loosen the two bolts securing the brake caliper to the steering knuckle. Finish removing the lower bolt using a ratchet, and then remove the top bolt as well. Once you have the bolts removed, separate the brake caliper from the rotor, set it on top of your control arm, and secure it in place. Carefully remove the rotor and set it aside. Then, use the 36mm socket to remove the hub nut. Using a 12.13mm box wrench, remove the three bolts securing the unit bearing to the steering knuckle. These bolts will be on tight, and you may find it helpful to double up with a box wrench of similar size and use it to give you more leverage. There are two bolts on the back side of the axle that will need to be removed and one up front. With the bolts removed, separate the unit bearing from the stub shaft and set it and the dust shield on top of the tie rod and out of the way. You can now pull the factory shaft out of the axle housing. If it didn't come out with the shaft, you need to look inside the axle tube and fish out the plastic guide ring as it will prevent you from installing your new shaft. This ring can be discarded as it will not be reused. Carefully slide your new shaft into the axle housing and make sure that the splines are fully engaged into the carrier or locker. Reinstall the dust shield and unit bearing onto the steering knuckle. Apply some red Loctite to the threads of your unit bearing bolts and then use them to secure the unit bearing in place. Apply some red Loctite to the threads of your hub nut and then use it to secure your axle shaft in place. Reinstall the rotor back onto the wheel studs. Apply some red Loctite to the two brake caliper bolts. Carefully slide your brake onto the rotor and then secure it in place with the two caliper bolts. You will need to tighten these bolts to 120 foot-pounds of torque. Reconnect your speed sensor wire to the two retaining clips on the steering knuckle. Then, reconnect the wire back into the plug behind the frame rail. Using a 36mm socket, tighten the hub nut to 100 foot-pounds of torque. You may find it helpful to have a friend step on the brakes to help hold things in place. That's all there is to it. Simply repeat the same steps on the opposite side of your Jeep and you'll be good to go.